So we are going to read from Vilap Kusumanjali, verse 95. And I've chosen this verse because this verse 96 is very famous. Tavaivas me, tavaivas me. So probably everybody knows. But the verse 95 is kind of a more... Um, then it's, let's say like this, it's more easy to understand why verse 95 is spoken if one hears verse 95. And 96 is spoken when one hears verse 95. So please interrupt me any time. I will try to read slowly, uh, which is not so easy for me. And please interrupt me anytime if you have any comments. I will not give any comments because I'm not capable to. But <clears throat> so everybody is very welcome to stop me. So we start with verse 95. O Devi, although you are generally very grave, you once severely rebuke me and send me away for committing just the tiniest mistake. When will you cast a slight glance on this pitiful person after Lalita brought her back to you. So I repeat now the verse. O Devi, although you are generally very grave, you once severely rebuked me and sent me away for committing just the tiniest mistake. When will you cast a slight glance on this pitiful person after Lalita brought her back to you? <clears throat> we start with the notes. In the previous verse, Sri Raguna Das had gotten Sri Radha's mercy by bringing her sash of bells back from Divila's Kunj, where she left it. And in this verse, he desires to get another indescribable kind of mercy. The aspirant should endeavor to experience at least a little of Sri Radha's mercy in his smaran. It's a sign of expertise in bhajan called Sakshat Bhajan Bhavriti. the direct engagement in worship. If one manages to experience the form and attributes of one's memorable deity. So maybe, Gurdo, if you can explain this, because what does it really mean? I, I read this sentence again. It is a sign of expertise in bhajan called Sakshat Bhajan Bhavriti, if one manages to experience the form, what does this mean, if one manages to experience the form <coughs> of one's memorable deity? Radhe, 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 I request to open the Spanish translation, Radhe, Radhe. Like, uh, again, read. 
again re please again repeat yes. the line it is a sign of expertise in bhajan one one minute it is a sign of expertise means expertise means really you are doing bhajan sign when you go to the road first sign coming to you that they show you keep a speed 30 km this is the sign of expertise that you maintain that speed you can go in germany 300 km per hour three up to 300 km is a sign of expertise that you follow the place what is to do there so what is the expertise of bhajan na well, how to feel this expertise that if you have is to there you meditate in that form read that so it's called sakshat bhajan bhavriti Uh -huh. di direct engagement in worship if one manages to experience uh -huh. the form and attributes form my form <laughs> like you see the form of radha mohan la forma y atributos cuando usted ve la forma ah eh? you see the form of radha govinda Temple is a different. When you see the form of Radha Govinda, it's different. So the form of the deity is to meditate. We must meditate in the form of the deity. Radha Radha Radha. Please. He went out and then he had to put him in. Ah, uh, yeah. So this form is the deity form to meditate. That is Ishtadev also. Okay. So this form is not there. My personal relation not come up. My personal relation, where is I feel the form? That is my personal relation. like i am in a material body so material body form is more practical to understand to me but when i see the deity then i think this is the wooden stone because my material concept is so cover to me that i cannot relate his divinity that is this is my goal this is to love this is to give love this is the yesterday this is the my life this is the personal relation of the devotee with his is today like i give you the example of six goswami they are living in vrindavan that time only they are and few persons are there but why they have a separate deity different mother mohan sanat uh, sanatan goswami rupa goswami radha govinda like this everybody has this individual deity of love exchanging and there so much exchange the love that they develop personal feeling and relation with that
So this is the meaning of the fall. One is the my material form, what I see, and one is a soul form, that is the spiritual form. When my soul form comes, then I can see it's soul take the form, then I move for divine. And divine can see with divine vision. That is divine form I can now see. And I can understand difference between divine form and material form. That is personal relation. Uh, what is impersonal? Because I not relate with you, that is my impersonal relation with you. I relate with my Gurudev because I can identify his material form. So this is impersonal. Mayavadi say, only you meditate in me and all God is, I am, will be giving you everything. Means I don't, I have a deity, but I have no relation with that. But you see the Prabhupada, you was in his con. Prabhupada, any place he make, he the, make the temple where he put the deity and he has a personal relation, then he is putting his love there. And he showed to us to directly connect with that. Today or tomorrow, time will come when you will realize it. I hope for your blessings. No, I say you. And after that, after success and approval, they have no relation, so they cannot relate this realization to us. So this parampara of Prabhupada is missing here. What Prabhupada parampara or Mahaprabhu parampara to develop personal relation. Uh, any page of Bhagavad Gita you see, every place Prabhupada is writing, Krishna, you have to develop personal relation with Krishna. All his teaching is personal relation with Krishna. And then he write in 1010, this personal relation, when you will sign it, like you go to the broker and you sign one agreement to buy one house. Then you also see other house, if you have to buy one house. No. Why? Because you sign it. So you not talk on that. You stop talking about the subject when you sign it. Prabhupada write in 1010, you sign it. No talk now. You will talk, then you will not reach to the higher goal. If you want, what say? Alte? Ultimate goal. Ultimate goal. Ultimate goal. If you need ultimate goal, then you sign. But this process is slow and but steady. Because then you come to the soul consciousness. When you sign with Krishna, means you agree with your soul. That you are living soul. You are not trying to live in your material body. I sign it that I believe in soul and live in the soul consciousness. In Srimad Bhagavat is mentioned that is Gopi Bhav. Before that is all fruitive activities.
is no meaningful. If I not practice a spiritual life, and a spiritual life start with the soul, other thing is just to living in the gunas with goodness. This we call religion. Uh, this is the point, not a spirituality. Hmm. So I say you one thing. Jesus say, to the priest that time, you cannot see him because you see, you judge the people. You have no time to see the Lord, my Abba. So you don't know him. And he will also not interested to enter in the heaven. You're only controlling to live outside and judge others. And you are blocking to others who like to go to him that they are, you are judging that he is right or wrong, he is complete or not. This is your reason. Hmm. But I can see, I know him. Means Jesus has a love for him, so he can see with a divine vision to his father. But they are standing in the gate of the heaven, but they cannot enter. If you will show, say, you can see one YouTube. What is the YouTube? About the Jesus? Jesus of Nazareth. Huh? Jesus of Nazareth from the Syrian. Can you say this? I cannot understand. Loud, you have to say it's in his speech. Jesus of Nazareth is one piece, is called Master of Nothing. Master of Nothing. Because he called the priest uh, Master of Nothing. You see? Master of Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> masters, Masters. In Master, in Nothing. If I'm not interested to enter in the heaven, then I am master of nothing. I will send Radha uh, He will send in Radha Dasya. You will see that. Why? Because I don't want to develop a personal relation with him. So this deity <laughs> is not... This deity is not... Is a divine deity because my heart becomes a stone, my my mind becomes a stone. So only I see a stone everywhere. My eyes is a stone. They are living. They are helping, and always they are divine vision, and they can give us divine vision. Shakshudan diloje janme janme prabhu se. They began his prakashita, and this the spiritual master, he also is connected. He is looking, so in this reason he share. He is a navigator. He shared to that reason. He say, see with that eyes, divine eyes, and connect and relate with your yesterday. And when you will love to him, you will get so much power that you don't know how to help others. You will forget to think for yourself. This is the thing, that this is the beauty of relation and love to form of it.
and meditate in that form, divine form. It looks like a nothing to me, but by meditating, meditating, it will start talking with you. He will say you everything and you have to do for him. You cannot uh, stop it. And he gave the all circumstances favorable that you are capable to do that. This is, I'm not talking from the any, but I talking what I realize in my life. Go on, read again, uh, read there. Yeah. Devotional practices like Smaran are definitely yeah. depending on God's mercy. Yeah, again, read this whole line. Yeah. Devotional practices like Smaran. No, 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 no from beginning. It yeah. is a sign of expertise in bhajan. Uh -huh. Bhajan, or, I mean, bhajan, what we are chanting is a sign of expertise. Can then I say bhajan, something? Sure, my dear. Bhajan. As long as I don't know who I am, who can speak about bhajan? Yeah. Oh. What, what kind of bhajan can it be? As in the family life, today I go to my father and say, oh, I'm your daughter. And tomorrow I go, oh, no, today I'm your son. <laughs> Maybe. And day after, I come out, oh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm your grandson. Maybe. Or I'm a coward boy, like this. What? This is a confusion for me and for my father. <laughs> who can speak about this bhajan? Who is who is doing bhajan? As long as I don't know who I am, who is this m guy who doing the bhajan? This is, and this is the point what you make, Gurudev, about to sign. I always like to to have a second door behind me. No, I don't like to sign that I'm the Dasi, that I am Manjari. And the moment I sign, I am clear. And then I have, what you say, I have then the, the deity, my deity become life. Then it starts. Not as long as I don't know who I am. Useless bhajan. 30 years of, of chanting. No, no result. I don't know who I am. And this is the expertise of the Guru who is giving me the know, to know who I am. And then the bhajan start. As I sign in that moment, I agree with my Gurudev and say, yes, yes, Gurudev, you're right. I'm a Manjari. And then my bhajan starts. Then everything starts. No? Very good. What I'm missing, you are telling, my dear. I want that you say. <laughs> then what will be clear to understand from my spiritual identification when I fix myself, then I start looking to you. Because Jesus fixed that I'm your son. Then he see Abba. Yeah. He decide himself that he is a son. And son, not genetic, plastic body. Soul is my, my soul is son of you, my father. My Abba. Abba. Yeah. You don't say God, show me any word of Jesus, as he said to the God, because he has a personal relation. He knows a, a formal word, Father. He said, Abba, my darling, my sweetheart. 
My daddy. My daddy. Daddy is the beauty of assignment of your jiva, Sarupa. Wow. Do you see hidden path? Hidden Mahatma is sitting yes. in Gaurasundara. Yes. You see? Whole life he gives in devotion of Jesus. Two, three years, five years maybe he come to my association and he talks like better than me. <laughs> you see that? This is the real beauty of realization of Saru. I'm your recorder, Gurudev. You see? Nancy, I, I, Nancy, <laughs> bank, borrow and steal. I know. See. We all. <laughs> you see? So, so there we, she what characters you have a special souls are in Germany. See that? Where you are searching, they are, they are Rasik Mahatmas. This is Rasik, who already fixed, right? That they assign. I make you easy, sorry that I have to bring my my dear Jesus in front of you to understand the fact I love him because he was fixed in his soul identity saru. Lovers talk. Lovers talk without you cannot feel the love. Lovers poem are the same. Good. If it seems that the jump or the transition from soul consciousness to Dasi uh, is often something in our spiritual life that needs time or may we say good association so that I would stay in my inner prayers and in my inner mind. Prabhupada say slow, slow, why he says slow? Because this has to not only keep in mind. Slow means you have to realize it. Realization makes you slow. One time, two time, three time. You have to practically feel and realize it. So it's slow. Slow means to go more. One day you are telling. We have to go in the ocean, not swim. You go under the... Dive deep. Dive in the ocean. I forget my Hindi man. Dive in the ocean. So dive is swimmer, swim and go out. But who dive in the ocean takes time more, right? It's a slow than swimmer. Hmm. So he's diving, we have to dive it so slow. But he study. The Prabhupada's mercy. I surprised what he said. Slow, but he study. More, you will be fixed. He study means you will be fixed. Nothing can move you. Like nobody can move Gaura Sundara. And one thing more I say. Take the milk. 
milk, milk, and boil it nicely, and want to eat, and put one to two drop of lemon in the three drop, and then see the, how he's changing the form. So be careful with the lemon, not take the, in your milk some lemon drop. If you put in milk lemon, it will break. Your feeling will break. Lemon, milk is milk. If you put on your in ritual injunctions and Vedic philosophy and external identification together, then you are breaking your lemon to get the condensed milk. The feeling condensed, that is your self. When your feeling, feeling condensed, when your milk condensed, then it becomes rubbery, thick milk, and that takes form. But in between, better to bring some sugar. Yeah, uh, if you should not put sugar, automatic will become sweet <laughs> because it condenses. But if you put the lemon, then it will not become condensed milk. It will be break up. So what we do? We make the condense. Try to make condense. But put lemon also, so they change the form. So be careful. Narayan Maharaj say, be careful. Sadhu, Sabdhan, you have to make your milk condense. You're feeling, think, uh, dive more inside. And that is no, Mikta. Mikta Jati is Sangha. Gurudev, when the lemon comes in the milk, yeah. it destroys the taste of the milk and it's not possible to recover anymore. See, Radhe, this is more addition. That's the point. You cannot make condensed milk again. <laughs> it will break. Then you have to start again to bring by going to the shop to bring the milk. And then again, your process will start A, B, C, D. And, and this, this way, this way, we moving on and on, buying the meal, making everything. When the time comes for condensed, we put the lemon. Radhe, 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 Radhe. Then we, we, I don't know what mistake happened, but put the lemon, that was the problem. And again, from the beginning. Uh, so again, buying from, we have to go to the supermarket. Complete to beginning. Yes. <laughs> and if you are so in... Sorry. Hmm? Dhananda Maharaj, you have to come back soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope so. That was again what Gurudev said, Sahaja Sangha. This is to connect. Sajati. Sajati. Sajati, sorry. Means Sajati means in the same same, same caste you have to associate. Yeah. Same feeling person, if you not me, other will put the lemon. Yeah. 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 So in Munger Mandir, 
we have Sajati. And uh, in Are, uh, everywhere is becoming Sajati. I see everywhere is Vrindavan. Yes, yes. Just just depend on our consciousness and our feeling. Yes. That you know when you take it with Davan, the Yananda Maharaj will move. Vrindavan is there. When Chakshu will move with this feeling, there where he will sit and talk, it's a Vrindavan. If he's a Krusia, Germany, Sweden, any place. This is the, this is Vrindavan. Vrindavan who gives you that feeling that you make your milk condense. <laughs> At the moment it becomes condensed, you cannot go out of that. So this is the holy dam is everywhere where pure devotee in the heart is bringing yeah. that holy dam. Yeah. Holy people is holy dam. Yeah. But the holy people become holy because they took the shelter of the dam. When they come, they come with a hundred percent to the holy place. Not as a tourist, he comes to take shelter of the mood of Vrindavan, to take the shelter of Radhika, to make condense my feelings. And till not happen, we have to come again and again to make this condense. Right? We are not tourists. Narottam Das Thakur says, Tirtha Yatra Manera Brahm. We say we are going to the Tirtha. Is a, is a doubtful mind is making Tirtha Yatra Parishram Keval Manera Brahm. Is a parishana. If you you have a body, if so many things thinking, you come and you do parikrama, 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 tourism, tourism, and then you become tired and sleep. And when one month finish, I go to back. Tirthyatra, manera brahm, parishram, kevala manera brahm. Is only only to stop my mind, running mind one point. <laughs> yes, Lisa, thanks for <laughs> It is a sign of expertise in bhajan called uh -huh. Saksha Bhajan Bhavriti. If one manages to experience the form and attributes of one's memorable deity. Uh -huh. yeah. This is the result of Guru Kripa, Guru Navigation. Guru is before not happening, Guru is very doubtful. I have not faith in Guru. Sardha is coming. Sardha means doubtful belief. <coughs> it's not a hundred percent I believe, but what to do? I doubt, but I believe there is some gentleman. 
Is it spiritual or not? I don't know. But when Sadhu Sangha is happening, Bhajan, Bhajan nahi, Bhajan Kriya means I do Bhajan and my behavior also at the time of Bhajan and after that my behavior is changing. Then I am free from anartha. Because my bhajan is something and my kriya is something else. So my anartha never go out. I do bhajan and at the same time I do many things that I will kill someone, I will, I will steal money of others and do this and that. So bhajan is something and planning is something else, material planning. That is no bhajan. That is nama bhas. Bhajan kriya. Bhajan and kriya thinking activities in the mind is should be one. Then what you are reading now? That is meaning of bhajan to come to the east of all. Then first I glorify to Guru. Oh, Nistha, form faith. I cannot leave you. Are I, you show me, you bring the right place for the, my goal. How I can live and I will die with you and live with you. Form faith, nobody can shake me. Because it's my life changed because of him. If he not talk, he bring, he show the way, and he bring to the goal. That is bhajan, bring to is the sarup, then guru nista. Then what happened? I missed after. Ruchi. Ruchi, test. What test is a material world, the test will be changed in a spiritual world. What I will do? I will only do for you, my dear, because I am in. Condensed Sarup, my Sarup, I am living in Sarup like Gora Sundra. I cannot think out of you, my Swami. I am your Dasi. You are the goal of my life. Why I will think other things? And what is the business with other things? Is all the whole life creates suffering because of that, that I think these are my things. That was my suffering. My taste changed. My flavor changed. So when you go to Radha Mohan, perfumes means the taste, perfumes. The taste of the smelling will change. Taste of listening will change. Before I was listening, not listening, but now I start drinking from my ear. Drinking. I don't want to stop it. I don't want to stop it. I will drink. Then eyes will start talking in the form of tears. How fortunate I am in this body that I can feel it and connect with myself to you. What is rare to do in life? I can see you, I can feel you. You talk with me and I talk with you. I can be angry with you. You can be angry with me.
I feel very much fortunate in this body. I want to keep more to relax and taste it. I waste youth as my time. Ruchi, after that? Asakti. Asakti. Uh, attachment. This is attachment talk. <laughs> then rag, love starts. Then rag after? Mm, bath, good if bath. Baba Brema. Rag, no, it's a man out now. If you're not with a man, means anger with it sometime, then anurag will not come. Mm. <laughs> In love without anurag, man, anurag not coming. When you become angry, no, no, I will not talk with you. No, no, I will not think for you. <laughs> he catch rag. He is not loving. No, I stop anything. I will not fight. I do not have interest in you. Man is important. To bring to other right or not? Feel it. After all things, automatic move. But man has to, up to man, you have to remember. You're not man with him. Anurag will never come. You have to fight. Where you can fight? When you have a love, then you fight. Fight means I not agree with who you have to listen to me. <coughs> that is man. You see, the past time is all happening like this. But it seems with Srimati Radhika, we have not much man, Gurudev. I don't feel it. But with man is there. If man is there, even the mandiri make man. Acha? You see, the past time, check. Without man is not anurag. A change will not start. He is man with Krishna. No, no, no. Go back. My Radhika will not meet with you. Why you are you standing here? No, no. Please try something that I can see my Radhika. She is very angry. No, no, no. You are not. You are devotee. I don't will ever agree. And she goes in. And Radhika says, where is Krishna? He said, wait, wait, don't rush. And he said, she is still very young. So, this Manjari knows how to make man and show man and increase the love of both of them. And then, Krishna bow down they make a spin to Krishna. Manjaris make a spin to dance. What about Radhi? It's not that Krishna is not there, but the Krishna goal has to change with Radhika goal. Then you have to see from the eyes of Radhika to Krishna. Then is a divine reason. The feeling will come of Radhika. 
when I will see from my eyes to Krishna, I will see only the Narayan or God. So what you like to see from the love eyes, Radhika eyes, the eyes of love, of conjugal love. So man, why we take Manjari Bhav is a gift of Mahaprabhu that, no, no, no. You become Dasi of Radhika to get that feeling, shadow of Radhika and feel with the eyes of Radhika and your feelings, feelings what you receive from Radhika, that I see both divine couple. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You yeah, go on. Very nice lines. <laughs> Devotional practices like Smaran are definitely depending on God's mercy. Yeah. But still, the aspirant must firmly endeavor to fix his mind. Uh. I fix in mind in you, and mind is running because of my old practice. Then again, I have to bring mind there. That is the bhajan helping us. Bhajan is the running out mind and bringing back to mind. This is the job of the bhajan. Again, is run out in ten minutes after. Then again, bring back. How you will bring back without bhajan? Why not interest? Because I don't understand why I do bhajan. Because I promise I do bhajan. I no no no, no promise. You bringing into yourself to realize more high. I never take any promises to anyone to do bhajan. When you have a love will come, bhajan will increase, you cannot live without bhajan. If you have no bhajan, means there is no interest. And the interest will come, do not bother for any other. Mala will be in your hand. Right or wrong, you will start thinking and bringing back your old practice to the right place. Yeah. The devotional practices like Smaran are definitely depending on God's mercy. But still, the aspirant must firmly endeavor to fix his mind. Mm. Mind, <clears throat> where the false ego is sitting. He play the games. What they say, false ego, is still I see. Don't believe in soul. You see, never soul. Are you forget God and soul business? These are all lying. This is cheating because you never see it. And you see me. I give all pleasure to your body and I give through the senses everything. Live in the senses and body that I can control and I become boss of you. And you have to dance what I will say. This is my Krishna. By the grace of Guru Kripa, if I got the real navigator and I start moving for that, and then I say, sorry, my dear, I want to bring back myself in right path, because I have a navigation, and navigation show me the way. I will never leave this way.
understand? Ramani understand or not? Yeah. The Lord distributes his mercy to the aspirants <coughs> according to their endeavor. Yes. His parents, who is desire for them. How they endeavor, how much they are endeavoring. 10%, 20%, 30%. <laughs> He's very calculated. 40%, 100%. According to their endeavor and perseverance in Bhajan. The Lord is naturally merciful to his devotees, but without being eager to do bhajan, one will not be qualified to catch, keep, see, nah, or experience nah, nah, his nah, grace. See the Narayana Maharaj, eager. Again, sorry. The see Lord the is. Of Narayana Maharaj, you say, eagerness is the only way of Prabhupada. The Lord is naturally merciful to his devotees, but without being eager to do bhajan, one will not be qualified to catch, keep, or experience his grace. On the other hand, if one does not get the Lord's grace, despite making a lot of endeavor, then he will also not be attained. Sri Raj. Sri Raj. Fruitive activities. Fruitive activities. Many endeavor I do. Gurudev. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Say, say, say. Because what Chakshu read is actually two points by Lord's or Ishtadev's own free will. Kripa can come in the heart of devotee. Yeah. But it must be free will of Ishtadev. No one can force with any sadhana, any endeavor. <laughs> no, wow, more better. But in the same time, if someone has agreed, mm. endeavor is natural, actually, to attain greed. a goal. Yeah, but greed has to be the point for endeavor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Source of endeavor must be greed. And greed will prepare the heart like Chakshu read, to catch the mercy yeah. and to properly use the mercy. Keep yeah. and but in the same yeah. time, yeah, experience. But in the same time, Sadaka is not thinking, I have to obtain it because I did it with my endeavor. Everything depends yeah. on free will, free Kripa, whenever in which way, how, like you said, it must, it is always actually surprise. <laughs> yeah. So in that way, if we properly understand these two points, which can sound contradictory, but just from the perspective of ego and mind and materialistic intelligence. The greed will come what Gaurav Sundar say, yes. when your sarup is fixed. Yes. Greed means sarup. Then person become greedy. And also, 
maybe mercy may be there, but、uh, we cannot catch. We need patora, kripa patora. Yeah, oh, beautiful, you see. Part. Patra. Part is k r i p a patra. Container.、Yeah. Yeah. Without holes. Sara. Yeah. yeah. Sara. <laughs> yes. Yeah.、Oh. Say more. I want to listen from three days. You are Mona. <laughs> <laughs> So it is say,、uh, if someone, so which person can get prema? Just <laughs> actually, Krishna likes some person or rather likes some person. Then. If. Krishna likes some person, then mass is coming. And then, which person Krishna likes? Krishna likes someone who h e l p devotee, h e l p Vaishnava. So, therefore, Sadhu Sangha, no, Sadhu Sangha also Vaishnava Seva, also chanting name. Mahaprabhu, one day, I think Kurina Gurama and Kurina Gurama's、uh, inhabitants ask Mahaprabhu, so what shall we do? And then Mahaprabhu s a i d chanting holy name and then b a s h n a b a s e v a Why b a s h n a b a s e v a Because Krishna is thinking, Krishna's only, only, Krishna's only business is to please devotee, to please v a i s h n a v a v a i s h n a v a s only business to please the Lord or Swamini. So, Lord, Krishna wants to always help devotee, but sometimes Krishna cannot do this, many reasons. But some devotee t r y to help that v a i s h n a v a Devotees. Then Krishna is thinking, oh, this devotee is so wonderful. I cannot do this, but he's helping v a i s h n a v a devotees. Oh, I have to give this devotee, I have to give mercy. This is Krishna's thinking. So, therefore, v a i s h n a v a Seva is actually i n v o k e the mercy of the Lord. For example, Gurudev has many disciples. Gurudev w a n t to help all the, all the devotees. But、uh, sometimes Gurudev cannot help devotees because of place, distance, because of time, because of many reasons. But some devotees say, Oh, Gurudev, I can help this devotee. Then Gurudev is thinking, Oh my God, this devotee is so nice. I want, I would like to help this devotee, but this devotee help me,、uh, help the devotee instead of me. Oh, I should give this mercy to this devotee, someone who help v a i s h n a v a This is Gurudev's thinking, Krishna's thinking. So, therefore, so v a i s h n a v a Seva and Sadhu Seva is for us. It's a very important thing. Also, bhajan. Because if somebody loves someone, oh, Gurudev, please help me, please help me. Then Gurudev has to hear, oh, who is calling me? Who is calling me? If I say, Rade, Akshori, Kishori, Rade, Kishori. And then Rade is thinking, who is, who is chanting my name? Oh, no, 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 this devotee is calling his wife. But Rade is thinking, no, in Braja, Kishori is me. 
Anyone who chant Kishori, I have to give mercy. This Radharani is thinking. So therefore, how to get mercy is chanting holy name, Radha, especially Radha's name. Because if we chant Radha's name and Krishna must come. So who is chanting my beloved's name? I have to serve him. <clears throat> and also Vaishnava Seva. Who is the highest Vaishnava? This Rashka Vaishnava. Especially someone who, who attain Stai Baba. As someone who attain Swarupa Siddhi, that's Rashka Vaishnava is, is highest. This is my understanding, Gurudev. One thing, my dear, I have little adding. When Sarup Siddhi happened, then what happened to the Manjari Bhav? Where she see, only she see Radha Swami. Even the all Vaishnava, she not see out of Radha Mohan. Where he see only Radha Mohan. So living, non-living entity is all Radha Mohan. Even he, he will care everything like a deity worshipping, Radha Mohan worship. Is to there. And Vaishnava also is a deity worship. Because then Radha Mohan become more and more happy that he starts looking me not only one place, he looks in divine, his vision becomes divine to see everywhere to me. So Gurudev. You, like you, always thinking, oh, everything in Nita is mercy. Yes. Everywhere is Nita. Everywhere is Radha Mohan's Kripa. Right? Yes. <laughs> Trying, why? But you all are helping me that I can fix more and more. My old bad habits are bringing out to me. Again, I bring back and I'm trying this. Uh, practice to be there one pointed and when we meet zoom classes i feel very support from all of you thank you for helping me thank you, you for know, good day thank you good helping us i'm not thinking that i'm teaching you i'm thinking I'm learning from you. I'm just like a baby to learn new and fresh surprise to me in my life. Every moment is surprise in my life. This will be nice attitude to have for all of us. Yes, this is I'm, this is. I, I don't <laughs> say to others, but I am trying myself. This is Uttama Vaishnava's vision. I am lowest. <laughs> I am food, food, food. Who changed the clothes, who changed the, his external everything. He's the lowest person, my dear. You see, I am. This small person want to preach before leaving this body that I can realize something in my life. Good. If I remember when we met in Dole, maybe 2009, I was not so much um, in personal service, but I like to bring you some. You were speaking with some Indian lady, I remember that. And then I, I was inspired from inside. I think I want to 
bring them some fruits. So I bring some cut apples to you. And uh, I thought, well, that would be nice when you are sitting there with this lady. And I remember at that time I bring these apples and I, I say, oh, I bring you some prashad that you can have some nice refreshment. At that time, you were smiling at me and you said, everything that comes from your hands is prashad. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit shocked. <laughs> Nobody ever said this to me. I was thinking, he cannot talk about me because I am just a fallen soul. I'm just a servant of the servant of the servant aspiring. At that moment, Gurdjieff, if I start to understand the shift that you are giving to us, what you were just explaining, you see your Swamini everywhere. And by seeing her everywhere, you help us to feel also as Darcy. And uh, yeah, because what does Darcy do? She brings Prashad for Mohan to Shivati Radhika. So everything that comes from her hand is Prashad. Jaiho. So I know, good if you try to hide from us because of your humility, but I have seen this mood in you for 15, 20 years since I know you actually, but I didn't realize it at the beginning. I was just like wondering, what does he mean? He doesn't mean me. No, because you see you Swamini everywhere and you see Darcy is everywhere. And this is the way how you help us, Gurdi. Not so qualified. And then actually, actually, next next sentence it describes about humility. This is in, interesting. An important sentence from Srimad Vallabhacharya has said, Hari is not satisfied with mere abundance of sadhana, as if the quantity counts, like some fruitive activity. Hari is only pleased with the humility of the devotees. Uh, yeah. And I, because before we spoke about the mercy and uh, people like me who are very gross, they may not even understand that mercy came to them and that I'm like a lot of mercy on, is coming to me. But because I have not the right attitude, but the mercy is already not not only it's there and the situation is uh, full of mercy, but I just don't have the eyes to see. But if we are in this wonderful association, then we can understand that the mercy is already there, even if we might think it's I'm waiting for some mystical uh, experience or some wonder, but the wonder is already here. I'm just not able to see it. And then if, if we have enough uh, humility and thankfulness, then we'll we be able more and more to appreciate and see what we have got. Yeah. She she Radharan is the very form of compassion, and her maid servants are blessed by being showered by her grace in so many ways. 
A stream of revelations rains down on Srila Raghunathas Goswami. So now <clears throat> comes the next paragraph, which refers to the verse. When Tulasi brought Swamini's sash of bells from the Kunja, Lalita noticed it and asked her with a wink, Where have you been? Tulasi winks back at her. I'll tell you later. Then, when Tulasi put the shash of bells back on Swamini's waist, <coughs> Lalita was the only one who noticed it. After the dancing, all the Sakis are absorbed in giggling and choking. So Swamini understands that Lalita has noticed the belt affair. Although Swamini is generally, general, generally very grave, now she calls Tulasi into her kunj and severely rebukes her there. Chastisement is a sign of mercy. Without having a feeling of complete mindness towards somebody, you won't chastise that person. Sri Advaita Prabhu, desperate to get Sriman Mahaprabhu's merciful punishment, finally began to preach that jnana, knowledge, is greater than bhakti. The Lord descended to preach devotion. Let me deny that devotion, said Advaita Charya Prabhu. Then the Lord will go out of his mind, of, mind of anger, and pull me up at the hair to punish me. So this was Advaita Charya's idea to bring Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in, into the mood of anger and to punish him. So this uh, statement comes from Chaitanya Bhagavat. After Sriman Mahaprabhu had gone to Shantipur with Nittai Chant to give Sri Advaita Charya his merciful punishment, <coughs> Charya began to dance in ecstasy and said, I have been punished according to my offense. Well done, my Lord. You have given me only a slight punishment. Now I have understood your authority. You have punished me according to my offense. Now I understand that you consider me to be your servant. Saying this, the Lord of Shantipur danced in ecstasy. Maybe Suniti, you want to uh, say something about the special day today? Oh, yes, it's the uh, Chidandahi Mahotsava, the festival of sweet rice. 
that is yearly celebrated in Panihati, which is a small town in Bengal where Lord Chaitanya, uh, Lord Nityananda met Raghunath Das Goswami. And since the subject is here, the mercy of punishment as a sign of love and intimacy, it is a very special coincidence that today also Lord Nityananda punished Raghunandas Goswami because he was meeting him there in Panihati at the Ganga. And Raghunath was very shy. He was doing obeisances from a distance, hiding, hidingly. And so devotees of Lord Nityananda said, look, this is Raghunath doing obeisances to you from afar. And Lord Nityananda who was always joking and always very funny. He said, oh, that is the thief. He tries to steal my gora for me without asking me. And then he was running towards Raghunath and forcefully with his love, he put his feet on his head. That was his punishment of ecstatic, private, loving exchange, giving him the dust of his all feelings, of his all powers into his heart. Yeah, that was a nice punishment. And he said, now you have to be doing a big festival here and invite everyone and have so many nice prashad. Uh, different prashadis, you know, like this chip rice, but also not only this rice and bananas. It it sounds so um, it sounds so 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 easy, but it was like how these festivals are when we do the bandanas. There are many many different kind of preparations, and the whole Ganga was full of devotees, they were sitting into the, up to their bellies in the Ganga. It was this time of the year, very hot. And they were taking Pashad. And Raghunath was distributing and enjoying this punishment that was given to him. This punishment was Vaishnava Seva. Punishment and medicine. I want to say in this past time, Raghunath Das Goswami before he go two times before us early to Mahaprabhu. But why he is going there? Because he is thinking God appeared. Mm. God is there. Krishna, or God is come. Narayan coming. So, always Mahaprabhu says, too early for you, go back. Live in your family life. Because he was not Punished by Nita. Rasika. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Nita. <laughs> So, when he punished by Nitai, Srasika, Guru, who is very close to Chaitanya, this punishment, the love of him, 
to do Vaishnava Seva. And he blessed to see Mahaprabhu like a Radha. <laughs> and then when he go to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then he is sent to Sarup Dhamuta to learn from Larita. And sent to Vrindavan with the Gunja Mala and go Varsan Sila. This was uh, accepted because now you come to right position. Second thing, Advaita Char is the region to call Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Advaita is Mahavishnu. Mahavishnu means Vishnu. Na Narayan and Shiva together is Mahavishnu. They pray that it is impossible for me to, in this Kali Yuga, to, uh, to, to do something. I can, I am doing many things, but it's not possible. I become old now. Now, without your coming and distributing love, it's not possible to change the jiva. It's a whole Kali Yuga. But always when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu give elderly respect to Advaitacha, always he was age, older, in white, he always respect, elderly respect to him. And he said, I don't need this. You are senior than me. But Mahaprabhu said, no, you are senior. So it's still this going on. In India or worldwide, if you see, Narayan is the senior than everyone. And they say, from Narayan Krishna, Radha Krishna is coming. One group say like this. And one who, who is Rasika, they see Radha Krishna is the supreme, and from there Narayan is there. Krishna's to Bhagavan swing. It's Srimad Bhagavat is coming. But if you go south, Mool is Narayan this. Godadevi Narayan, Lakshmi Narayan, Vishnu Bhakti. So this is the respect giving to the to Narayan and the Narayan want to give respect to, to Radha And Shiva want to give respect to Radha. But Radha Krishna, Mahaprabhu is not agreed to receive this. He wants to always respectful to them because you are doing many jobs in this world of maintenance. So he start one trick because he, Shiva was there. He start cutting bhakti philosophy. This is impersonal philosophy. Mm -hmm. Now you have to go details for this. When he start giving impersonal philosophy, not connected with the Lord, and this is the only by knowledge and this and that, what I don't know much, then Mahaprabhu, become very upset. Why you call me? And then, why you bring me here? And you are doing Then He heavily beat him. 
Evilly, <laughs> not easy. Are you become mad? Or what happened to you? He can catch his beard and hair and what? He was so angry, you cannot see his nursing room. Surprising. But he wants like this to show the world that Radha Krishna is bigger than me and he can punish me also. This is Chaitanya. He can do everything, even to me, what about us? <coughs> then he said, yeah. And same Advaita Chari, he was the region of this appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You know this? The story comes like this. I don't remember the sloka. He, he is telling, you become Sahajya Mahaprabhu, he said. And you are giving so easily Prema Bhakti that you behave like a Sahajya. Easily, who is not qualified, you are giving this Prema to everyone. This is, you are distributing the rice, like throwing the rice for nothing. This is not good to do. Some past time is happening. That time, Mahaprabhu thinks, my time is over. Forgive distributing Prema Bhakti. Advaita Chan says, it's too much for giving love and distributing all hidden sight. Hide something. Not good to give everything. So there, <coughs> their exchange is very beautiful and relaxing. Yeah, read that. You are bowl. Everyone yeah. became a bowl. Yeah. And Sahaji is madman. Yes. You make the mad crazy to dance and you make easily giving rice, distributing the rice like anything is not good. And it's not necessary any more to distribute the rice. Yeah. No, nothing, no much. He sends yes. hidden message. Actually, your time is finished now. <laughs> you can depart from this world. Yeah, he said the marketplace is closed. <laughs> yes, <laughs> marketplace is closed. Yeah. Yeah. There is no receiver. I have something very beautiful. He didn't. Therefore, Srila Das Goswami in his Svarupavesh says, Swamini, you are dear Amati. You never raise your voice to anyone. But now you chastise me in great anger. Tulasi cries out, Swamini, what have I done wrong? Swamini says, Why did you have to show the whole situation to Lalita? Now she's making fun about me. Go, get out of my kunj. Tulasi pitifully cries, Swamini, where shall I go? 
I don't have any, anybody but you. She thinks to herself, <coughs> You may kick me or protect me. Now, where shall I go? Even if the cloud... <coughs> Even if the cloud strikes the thirsty Chataka bird with a thunderbolt, the Chataka bird subsists still only on rainwater. Wow. Yeah. Sí, adesso sí. Yeah. Such are the playful activities of Prema. The lover shows a neutral mood when he is praised, but in the heart he feels pain. Even blasphemy gives him joy, for he takes it to be choking. Love does not diminish when the beloved has faults nor does it increase, even when the Beloved has great qualities. Wow. How dear Tulasi is to Swamini! In the material world, someone loves me, someone trusts me, and that fills up my heart. But what is the value of that love and trust? Fulfillment comes for me on the day that I will get attention for my Siddha Swarup in the assembly ah. of Sri Radharani's girlfriends and maid servants. Yeah, oh. Fulfillment comes for me on the day that I will get attention for my Siddha Swarup in the assembly of Sri Radharani's girlfriends and maid servants. Swamini chastises Tulasi. The loving maid servant goes outside of the kunj, sits with her back against the wall, and cries flooding her chest with tears. Then Lalita comes. Tulasi covers her face that is reddened by tears, tears with a veil and goes on crying. Lalita asks, What happened? Tulasi is speechless and cries only more when being questioned like this. The kinkaris are as much the objects of the Saki's affection as they are of Radharani's affection. Lalita understands everything. Tulasi was punished because of the belt affair. Affectionately, she then takes Tulasi by the hand and brings her to Swamini, telling her, Why are you angry with Tulasi? I saw this belt affair myself. It's not Tulasi's fault. It's my fault. You should tell me to get out. Don't tell Tulasi anything. Hearing Lalita's words, Swamini casts a mercy anointed sidelong glance at Tulasi. Again, this line, please. Hearing Lalita's this words, paragraph, this paragraph, yes. Yeah. To Crying, to see is crying. Swamini chastises Tulasi. The loving maidservant goes outside of the kunj, 
sits with her back against the wall and cries, flooding her chest with tears. Then Lalita comes. Tulasi covers her face that is reddened with tears, with a wail, and goes on crying. Talita asks, what happened? Tulasi is speechless and cries only more than being questioned like this. The kinkeries are as much the objects of the Saki's affection as they are of Radharani's affection. Lalita understands everything. Tulasi was punished because of the belt affair. Affectionately, she then takes Tulasi by the hand and brings her to Swamini telling her, Why are you angry with Tulasi? I saw this belt affair myself. It's not Tulasi's fault. It's my fault. You should tell me to get out. Don't tell Tulasi anything. Uh -huh. well, Hearing Lalita's words, Swamini casts a mercy-anointed sidelong glance at Tulasi. In this way, Tulasi enjoys the intense mercy of Swamini even through chastisement. Blessed is this maid's service. This is the great gift of Srima Mahaprabhu. Merciful Swamini casts a mercy anointed sidelong glance at her maid servant. How many streams of compassion are flowing from the corners of her eyes? All these indescribable flavors come to perfection as soon as one considers oneself to be Radha's maidservant. Ah. Considers. All these indescribable I, flavors come to perfection as soon as one considers oneself to be Radha's maidservant. Permiso. Disculpen, no podemos escuchar la traducción en español. Prabhu Bhagavatam Brita. Sri Raguna Das is a seer of the transcendental Raj Ras. As long as there is still a whiff of material consciousness in the heart, this Rasa cannot be perceived. Yeah, I repeat the sentence. As long as there is still a whiff of material consciousness in the heart, this rasa cannot be perceived. When a devotee obtains the mercy of similar rasika devotees, his heart, purified by sadhana bhakti, will spontaneously reflect the spotless moonlight that emanates from the Raga moon that rises in the Acharya's hearts. This is the conclusion of the scriptures on Bhakti Rasa. So this is a little complicated uh, and compact sentence. I read it again. When a devotee obtains the mercy of similar Rasika devotees, his heart, purified by sadhana bhakti, will spontaneously reflect the spotless moonlight that emanates from the Raga moon 
that rises in the Acharya's hearts. This is the conclusion of the scriptures on Bhakti Rasa. Swamini is pleased with Tulasi and Tulasi sings, This maidservant is yours. You may be angry with her or pleased, but in all circumstances, this Tulasi is yours. This is complete surrender. When the vision vanishes, Sri Raghunath prays. O grave Radhe, in this Raj Mandala, you become angry with me for committing even the slightest mistake. Very angrily you call me to you and severely chastise me. Lalita, knowing your nature, then brings me before you again, so you will no longer be angry. You will chastise your merciful glance on, oh, sorry, you will cast your merciful glance on me and thus fulfill my desires. Yeah. This is the end of the purport. So careful. 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 You see, this Larita is navigated for the Manjuri. Larita is navigator. She is the guru for the mind. Everywhere navigation is required. Goal will never fix without navigation. And when the mistake happens, nobody will help me without navigation. So navigation work is so high, so high, like a goal and navigation works together. Sometimes we forget the goal and we take the navigator and goal is one. Then is the impulse. And this was teaching of Advaita Charta. <laughs> So Mahaprabhu punish, you can check, who make the impersonal, then punishment comes. See that? Punishment is a sign of high personal relation. Yes. Pure man. Raga Bhakti has to be pure without no deviation. Manjari only can see nothing else. That is the, my navigator help that I do it. It's very difficult, but by navigation it becomes very easy. By this navigation, life is changing. See ya. Jainanda, yes. there was in Switzerland, there was one question in to this line also. Good. And what about the free will? And this was the perfect answer now, what Chakshu was reading. Hmm. When a devotee obtains the mercy of similar Rasika devotees, hmm. his heart, purified by Sadhana Bhakti, will spontaneously reflect the spotless moonlight that emanates from the Raga moon that rises in the Acharya's heart. So, this is, free will is not a question of mind. There is a perfect description how the meaning is of the free will. It is a, a kind of 
mercy in the heart. Jananda, maybe you, you, you remember there was, there was uh, in, in uh, Madan Gopal's house, I think, there was this question, what about the free will? Do you remember this, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this, I, I feel that was the perfect answer for this. The last words. What you actually read. The Sajate Sangha has so much power. So therefore we need Sadhu Sangha. Child. We need, we need the mercy of Guru Dev. We need association. We need uh, Radha Dasya. Yeah. Radha Dasya. And this is created by Suniti. And we yes. are all yes. little members of this Radha Dasya. Yes, yes. Suniti. All that Where's the one? Where's my Gopinath? He is the one. Yes, yeah, Gopinath. Dasi. We are Radha Dasi. <laughs> we are not teacher or anything. We all are one day senior and junior. There is <laughs> a senior. Gopinath is one Dasi who would like to take uh, your mercy today. Wow. Can I see her? Make zoom big. How are you? Only I want to see her. Make big. Yes, sir. Put up. It's become a pita. Yeah. Only one picture. No, no necessary, my friend. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. How are you? Nice, thank you. <laughs> you understand English? A little bit. <laughs> so who is sitting near to you? Near to you, who is sitting? Sitting here, it's me. So needy. <laughs> From today, see your mama. No. <laughs> uh, my Radha Charan translates in Russia. Okay, I am here. Uh, see you moment, another was mama. You accept this? Понимаете? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> oh, no, Asirvad, no, you are not taking a blessing. Your mama will not do this. Okay, then I do this. <laughs> no, ask her, like a Betty. <laughs> Suniti, your responsibility to give all love like a mother to the daughter. Suniti, позаботьтесь о ней, как о своей дочери, и благословляйте ее. Suniti, agree? Yes. Согласны? She agree? That Она she... согласна? Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. When mama is there, you need papa also. Если есть мама, то и отец должен быть, папа должен быть. Good, good if, good, good if, no, no, yeah. I always too much papa. No, one more. Yeah. Go and attack Dandavat. Тоже предложите ему поклоны свои.
папа. Теперь он ваш, он ваш отец. Нет, Горгна Судра, вы должны обнять ее как свою дочь. Импасно. О, как лайки папа. Обними как отец. Импасно. Я... Что же делать? Конечно, согласен. Куда же подниматься-то? Будешь заботиться о ней? Конечно. Теперь вам нужно будет слушаться их и служить под их руководством. Only this, not much. Больше ничего не прошу. When you will do everything, you will get. Если ты будешь это делать, то все получишь. Stand with me, everyone. Повторяй, повторяй вместе со мной. Hare Krishna. 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 Again, say, not you. Снова. Снова. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Сначала духом шипит он. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. Рам, Рам, Кришна, 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 Аре, 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare 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 Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Your name is Sumati. Ваше имя Сумати. Сумати. Сунити and Sumati. Сунити и Сумати. Я не приму вашей благодарности, если я не буду служить вашим отцу и матери. Скажите им, что 
Моя мама, папа, вам не зачем так тяжело работать в доме, я буду все делать. Сделай их счастливыми, убирая в комнатах, мою посуду, все делая, чтобы они были счастливы. They will not say you. Они не будут тебя просить об этом. But you have to do. Но ты должна это сделать. This is guru to you. Это, это воля духовного учителя для тебя. То есть его воля, Only его приказ. Я буду счастлив этим служением, и ты получишь через это всю милость. Я буду смотреть за тобой. Таким образом, я буду увидеть, что происходит в Германии. я принимаю только в данном случае одно обещание. Мне не нужны никакие тебе обещания, только одно. Служи этим двум вайшнавам, как своему отцу и матери. Мохини, вы согласны Это отношение. Махапрабху учит этому, самбанде, то есть отношениям. Так вы можете духовно развиваться, идти по духовному пути. Wow. Thank you. Thank you.